Welcome to Mail Rail. You are about to explore some of London's hidden underground postal railway. I'm Andy, your guide today, and I'm joined by Ray Middlesworth. Hi, Ray. Hi. I worked here as an engineer for 27 years, keeping the trains running. But not just any old trains. This unique narrow gauge railway was designed to carry mail, not people. So if you're feeling a little cramp, that's why. And although we have a driver today, the original mail trains were driverless. It was a huge network of automated electric trains running right under central London, carrying mail between main railway stations and sorting offices much faster than along the congested streets above our heads. And it's amazing to think construction of the railway began as far back as 1914, with the tunnels dug by hand. Work was put on hold during the First World War, but when the railway finally opened in 1927, it cut the journey time across London from a few hours to just 30 minutes. It was an engineering mark. Malrail ran almost non-stop, night and day, for over 75 years until 2003. As we explore, we'll be going back in time to see tunnels, loading platforms and a few surprises. We'll be at our first stop in a few minutes. conversing back and forth and wheeling work up and down. It was a noisy and lively place to work. Ray's going to tell you more about life working on the railway as we take a trip down memory lane through the many decades of mail rail. We're under Mount Pleasant sorting office, heading east to Whitechapel. It was hard work down here, but we all thought we were part of something important. There was enormous team spirit. We seemed to get ourselves in the news a lot in the 90s. It didn't hurt that Bruce Willis made a film down here called Hudson Hawk. In the 80s, we had our 60th anniversary. Along with that, we had a new brand and finally some new trains. I'll tell you two things that sum up the 70s. Postcodes made life a lot easier and strikes made life not so easy. Swinging 60s. Those World Cup stamps sold out after England won. There were a few celebrations down here that summer. In the 50s, air travel became much more common, and so did air mail, and that meant even more of it travelled along mail rail. 